and trouble continues to mount for Belarus President Alexander Lukashenko. Now, the nicknamed Europe's, nicknamed Europe's last dictator as the European Union condemned the country's aggressive attempt in fueling the migrant crisis at the border. Countries including Lithuania, Poland and Germany accused Lukashenko government of launching a hybrid attack against 27 nation bloc in the European Union by not preventing immigration to Europe. More than 4,000 asylum seekers have already crossed borders to worsen the migrant crisis in Europe, which is already facing an influx of Afghan refugees due to the Taliban takeover. Focus on the um, states uh, which are uh, very much affected by the Belarus attempt, that means uh, especially uh, Lithuania. So we, as a Slovenian presidency, we strongly support and express the solidarity with uh, that countries, and we condemn the Belarus attempt to instrumentalize the human beings for the political purposes. Lukashenko said that the country will not stop asylum seekers as a retaliatory move after the United States and United Kingdom imposed sanctions for jailing dissident journalists and activists in August last year. Mass protests erupted in Belarus after the presidential election was allegedly rigged to help the communist strongman extend his grasp on power. Poland deployed more than 900 troops on its borders to keep a check on the migrant surge from Iraq and Afghanistan. German Chancellor Angela Merkel is now planning to raise the issue with the Russian president Vladimir Putin. Due to heavy dependency of Belarus on Russian energy supplies, last week Lukashenko had said that, it firm, that he firmly believes Russia and even compared the situation to that of World War. It is necessary, then there will not only be a base, there will all the Russian Federation forces will be placed. If necessary, Olya, you will know what to do, in what conditions, in the case of danger, the breakdown of Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.